Now, you should have either read in the book, or we discussed in the live chat, the descriptive statistics, the mean, the median, the mode, standard deviation, the variance. For our qualitative data, or what I have highlighted as green here, the only one that makes sense is the mode. I could calculate, and Excel will provide you a number for the mean, the median, the standard deviation, and the variance, but that doesn't tell us much, because remember, the numbers don't have meaning. The only one that really makes sense is to calculate the mode, because the mode is the most frequent, and that has meaning. I want to figure out what animal type is the most frequent. I can tell Excel to calculate the mode for me, and that has, that has numerical physical meaning to me. So that's the only one I'm going to calculate for my qualitative variables. And I'm going to type in mode, just so I remember what I'm calculating, and I'm going to make Excel calculate this for me by doing a formula an insert function under the formulas tab, and I'm looking for the mode function, so I can type that in and make it search. And there it pops up, mode. And all you have to do is highlight the column you're interested in. And I say, okay, and it pops out the number one. Well, what does that mean? It means that the most frequent animal coming into my vet's office is dogs. Now, I just want to show you that it will pop out a number if you want to do the mean or the average. So if I want to do the average, I can highlight the numbers, and it will pop out a number for me, 1.095. I'll label this mean. But that doesn't have any meaning for me, because, remember, the numbers are arbitrary. They could have been assigned any numbers in any order without any meaning. So the mean does not have any meaning. The same as the median, the standard deviation, and the variance. So I'm going to get rid of that. Clear the contents of that. And this is something, like before, if you want to copy and paste it into Excel, you probably do want to give it a border so it looks nice. And then we can copy and paste that over to Word. There's my Word friendly Word document there. And there's my mode.